sister hot and on. <laughs> Amen. Right. Keep us uh, covered in prayers if you would. We want to keep the uh, Williams family in our prayers as they are traveling. Amen. Amen. That God will give them a uh, safe passage uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to Alabama and then back uh, uh, to us here in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, the Salisbury is out on today as well. We want to keep he and his family. hope things are well with them. Amen. Uh, Brother Amen. Jones and Sister uh, Thomas uh, had some loss in their families, and we Amen. want to keep uh, uh, keep them in our prayers Amen. as they uh, journey through this time of uh, of bereavement. God is able. Amen. 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 The beautiful thing about uh, the loss of a loved one is simply this. Uh, Paul said, if they die in the Lord, amen, amen. Uh, there's much gain, amen. amen. And so uh, we hate to lose those that we love. Yes. Uh, but then on the other amen. hand, uh, God is blessed as a result. Another saint has, has gone amen. to be with him, amen. Oh, yes. And so oh, yes. we want to keep the families in our prayers, amen. On this morning, uh, if the Lord says the same, we want to uh, look at uh, uh, the subject of uh, uh, the dimensions of God's love, the dimensions of, of God's love. We are appreciative to our brethren for doing such a wonderful job uh, of uh, conducting service on this morning. Uh, we want to ask you, if you would, to pray a special prayer uh, for Sister Gibbons. Amen. Pray for her uh, for strength. Amen. Sometimes things don't always uh, 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 go the way that uh, they should go, and, and the devil is always busy. Amen. 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 We, uh, we Amen. want to keep uh, this sister lifted up uh, in prayer. The devil is busy on the job. He's busy. He's just busy. Amen. Amen. So busy. Keep our yeah. sister lifted up in prayer. Yeah. Keep yeah. Uh, I, the sister, the, uh, sister Hope, keep her in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see Brother Vince back there. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to, to yeah. see uh, our yeah. brother in, in, in the house. Yeah. Oh, yes. it, it's, uh, it's always good to see our sister back here. Yeah. If you would uh, uh, pray with us this morning, we'll be happy to if you would be so kind as to turn with me to Ephesians chapter 3 of the read so beautifully in your hearing on this morning here. Ephesians the chapter is 3. We will commence our reading at verse number 16. We will conclude at verse number 19 if you have any say amen. 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 And it's a delight to have our dear sister visiting with us here on this morning. It's always good to have her uh, in our presence in worship to God. Amen. The dimensions of God's love. Ephesians chapter 3. Amen. Verses 16 through verse the number is 19. If you have it, say amen. From whom the whole body fit the joint together, compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having, uh, well, let, let, me, let me read chapters uh, uh, 13, amen. That was good reading, amen, good reading. Y'all, y'all, y'all were, Looking at me as he said, there's a way to park all together up there. Yeah. There's a lot of function in my conjunction, but we will get it right here. 
that we, watch this now, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. We're going to talk about love. Amen. May be able to comprehend, uh, uh, to discern uh, with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. The dimensions of the love of God. Our focus is on verse number 18. That ye might be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, listen to them, the length, the depth, and height, and to know the love of Christ which passes all knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. As I stated, church family, I want to talk to us about the greatest love that could ever be known to mankind. And that is the love of Christ. Love is the most potent and powerful force on this planet we call Earth. Love is so much greater than even faith and hope. Listen to Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 13. And now, listen to him, abided faith, hope, charity. Watch it. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Why is it that love is so much greater than faith, a trust in God, than hope and anticipation or expectation of God. Why is love so much greater than these two? Well, let me tell you the question asked. It is so much greater because in love, well, love is the umbra. It is the basis. It's the foundation to everything we do and why we do what we do. It, it, is, it is the basis to, to why we trust God, why we have faith in God. It is the basis of, of why we hope in God, why we ex have expectations in God. Love is the umbrella. It is, it is the covering of all that we do and why we do what we do. Amen. You see, love will make us do some powerful things. Love. Amen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of people are in jail right now in the name of love. Amen. Somebody has, has killed a baby Amen. in the name of love. Amen. Somebody has killed somebody for disrespecting their mate in the name of love. Somebody somewhere is doing something uh, uh, because they love money so much. Amen. They have found themselves in a prison because love for money. Amen. Because of love. Amen. When we love our children, amen, amen. we will climb the highest mountain. Amen. 
We will swim the widest sea. Amen. Because we love. Amen. We are willing to die for our children and grandchildren because we love. Amen. When we really love something. Amen. Amen. We'll do things that we wouldn't ordinarily do. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Church family, mm -hmm. this is why it is my objective. It is my goal. It is my purpose to encourage us to fall so deeply in love with the Lord. Amen. Oh, it's my goal to, 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 in whatever way that I can, to encourage us to love Jesus with everything that's in us. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and would have a desire or have the, the willingness to do for him and more than what we will do for this world. Amen. 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 Because of love. Amen. When we are really in love with a thing. Amen. When we are really in love with somebody, we commit our minds. We commit our bodies. We commit our soul to it. Am I right about it? Amen. We'll do anything for it. Amen. That's why Jesus made the statement in Mark chapter 12 and the verses number 13. Watch him now. And thou shalt love Thy God, watch it now, with all of thy heart, with all of thy soul, with all of thy mind, with all of thy strength. And this is the first commandment. Amen. Amen. It was because of love. Amen. Church back. God sent his only son into this world. Am I right about it? And God asked of us to love him with, with, with every, every area of our being. Amen. Ooh, that's deep, church family. That's, yes. that, that's, yes. that, that's, yes. that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Why? Because God first demonstrated his love toward us. In Romans yes. chapter 8 and verse number 39, listen. Listen, listen to Paul, uh, to the church at Rome. Paul said, but God, watch this now, commended, he demonstrated his love towards us and, in, and, and, and while we were yet what? Sinners. Christ died for us. He demonstrated his love for us. Church back there, amen. Amen. A -a -a amen. Uh, he demonstrated when, when we were unworthy of his love. Amen. And so for, for denominations, amen, for uh, those in the denominational arena, amen, who say that they love the Lord, amen. We must understand that it is impossible to love God and not love what God says. Amen. Let me say that again. It, it is it is impossible to love the Lord. Amen. It is impossible to love the Lord and not love what he says. Amen. It's not enough to love the Lord only. Mm. Amen. What good is it to love Jesus and not keep 
called a miracle? Yeah. That I had to tell, I told that in a nicer way. Say amen. But anyway, in verse number 23 of John chapter 14, Jesus answered and said unto him, watch this now, if a man love me, watch him now, he will keep my words. Did you hear Jesus? You will, he will keep my word and my father will love him and will come uh, unto him. Did you hear Jesus? You cannot, that's emphatic. Jesus said that you cannot love me and not love my word. Amen. John 12, 48, he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my word hath won the judgment. Words that I've spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Amen. It's important. Amen. It's important that we, we, we love him and Love will make us do uh, 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 what seems impossible. Love will make us walk away from something that we, we, we thought was right. All of our lives, love will make us change. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. The love of God, the love of his word will make us change if we love it. Yes. So God's love, we understand, reach in every direction. Amen. It reaches. His love reaches in every direction. Uh, and what we want to do this morning is consider uh, the demonstration of the dimensions of God's love. Bible. Bible is right. Amen. Amen. Bible is right. Bible Amen. is right. Paul says, Paul says in Ephesians chapter 3, First of all, he talks about the breath. Amen. Paul says God's love uh, has breath. Amen. It has, it has breath. In other words, it, 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 it's broad. Amen. In other words, it has width. In other words, it's wide. Amen. God's love extends to all ages, to all nations, to all ranks of men. God's love is, is broad in that it covers the whole world. Amen. Amen. His love, somebody said that the earth is somewhere around 7,000 and, and, and uh, 7,918 miles wide. Amen. But God's love is so much wider. Am I right about it? The Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse number 16, uh, the book said, for God so loved his love was so emphatic. His, 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 his love it, 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 uh, uh, goes beyond the, 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 the height and, and the breadth and the width, amen, uh, and the depthness of man's understanding. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, amen. He, he, his love was demonstrated and, and what he did, he made the ultimate sacrifice. In 1 John chapter 4 and the verses number 9, listen to John, the inspired writer. John said, in this was manifest the love of God toward us. Watch him now. Because God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might uh, live through him. Watch him now. Herein is love. Amen. Watch it. Watch it. Not that we love God. But that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation or the atonement of our sins. That's love. Amen. He didn't have to love us. He, he, it, it wasn't necessary for him to love his creation after his creation violated him. But because he loved us. He demonstrated his love for us. He gave everything that went something to it. That, 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 it, that individual that was with him from eternity to eternity, he decided to separate himself from his only begotten son. That's love. Titus 2 and verse number 13. Looking, watch it now, for the blessed hope, watch it, and the glorious appearance of the great God and uh, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us. Amen. That he might redeem us, that he might buy us back from all iniquities. Don't you know that, 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 that God, God got with his son 
Bible church family. God put the sun even before the world was created. And Jesus made up in his mind that if it was necessary for him to be the propitiation, the atonement for our sin, that he would do that. Amen. And when the time came and when the time was right, God placed him into the womb of a woman. Came forth. Lived a sinless life. Amen. Amen. And, and, and was, uh, was abused and misused. And finally oh, yeah. was nailed to a Roman crucifix. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sheep going to slaughter. Yet he opened up his mouth. Mm -hmm. That's love, church family. Yeah. That's sacrificial love. Yes. I believe I'm right about that. You see, Christ, love is co equal. It causes it calls him to lay down his life for us. Amen. 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 There's no greater love. And if I can encourage us, church family, to, 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 to learn, amen, to love God with everything uh, that we have, as I stated earlier, with our mind, our body, our soul, and our strength. Lord have mercy. Amen. What, what a wonderful thing. In John 15 and verse number 13, listen to Jesus. Jesus said, greater love has no man than this. Watch this now. That a man that would lay down his life for his friend. And then he turned and said, uh, uh, and ye are my friend if ye do whatsoever I command you. Uh, if I can get the denominational world to recognize, to, to realize that, 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 that it's more to loving Jesus than calling on him and uh, than, 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 than just talking about how good he is. Amen. 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 It's easy to talk about how good he is because he is good. good. Amen. Amen. He's better than best. Oh, yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. But what we need, Lord Jesus, have mercy, is, 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 is to love him enough to do what he said. Amen. Even if it goes against the grain, even if it goes against uh, 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 what your mama uh, felt or what she thought or what she did or what your daddy. Amen. Matthew 26 and verse 28. For this is, uh, it is my blood, watch it now, of the New Testament, watch this now, which is shed for many for the remission of sins, for the taking away of sins. Jesus laid down his life for us. And so, centurion, God's love is broad. Amen. It's broad. It is broad. Amen. It's wide. Amen. There's no doubt about it. It's wide. In 1 John 4 and verse number 8, he that loveth, know, uh, loveth not, knoweth not God. Listen to him. Listen, listen to him. Uh, for us, amen. Uh, that means that we can't decide who we will love, amen, or who we won't love. Amen. Listen, 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 listen. You can't love, not love me and love God. Amen. I can't not love you and love God. Amen. I can't make the decision. I, I must love. Amen. Am I right about it? Right. Amen. Amen. Why must I love? If I have a relationship with him, uh, I got to love. Why? Because the book says God. And if I'm if I'm a God, then I gotta love him. Amen. 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 So so he is described by love. He acts by love. His very essence is of love. And therefore, the only way to think of him is by love. Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy. I'm gonna say love so much today. Y'all gonna walk out the door. Love, love, love. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 As children, children of the Almighty God, our love, our love, our love should be brought. 
Amen. It should be wrong. Amen. It should be wise. We, we, we should manifest love to one another. We should manifest love to the world. In Proverbs 10, in verse number 12, watch it now. The, the, uh, Solomon, that wise king, said, Hatred, uh, watch it, stirring, amen, uh, 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 strife, amen. Listen to it. Stirring, strife, hatred, stirring, conflict, amen. Watch it now. But love covered all sin. In other words, love covering all wrong. Y'all know how that thing works. You love somebody. Amen. You love somebody. They can be wrong with two left shoes, but you're going to try to defend them because you love them. Come on, right about it. Amen. An uh, individual can be doing wrong and know they're doing wrong. And, and you just forgive and forgive and forgive, and, and, but you forgive out of love. Am I right about it? Amen. Oh, y'all help me here. Amen. A amen. Amen. All I'm saying is, is that that love should be manifest amongst us as brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Amen. Or somebody look at you strange. You, you, you want conflict. <laughs> amen. Am I right about it? Somebody didn't speak to you right. You won't conflict. Amen. Amen. That's, that's a lack of love in your heart for that individual. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. Amen, you. And you know, we need we need a checkup from the neck up, you know. Amen. We need amen. to make sure. We, we need to make sure that that, that if we if we profess to be in God then we must have the love of God. Amen. Oh, I I'm right about that. Amen. 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 And not only is his love wide, uh, his love is broad. Amen. But Paul says uh, there is a link to God's love. Amen. It, it, church family, it's far reaching. Amen. It, it, it's far reaching. It, it's from everlasting to, to everlasting. It, it, it extends through all ages. Amen. God has always loved. Amen. God has always loved humanity. Even when humanity was unloving to him, God demonstrated love. Am I right about it? Listen to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse number 3. The book said, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, Jeremiah said, saying, I have loved thee, watch him now, with an everlasting love. Amen. Now you, you don't get it twisted because, because, because God loves us does not mean that God will not chastise us. Amen. Amen. But that's why if we profess 
a relationship with God. As a matter of fact, we cannot profess a relationship with God when we have a problem with love. That is the innermost nature of God. Oh, y'all all right? Amen. 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 Love is important. Amen. And, and, and understand that, 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 that love it is not something that we say. Amen. Love is something that we do. Love is an action word. Amen. Oh, love, love reaches through everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Amen. Love reaches out to the ends of the earth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we, we say, we say we mean well when we say what we say. We, we say we love our family. We say we love our friends. But if we love them, we won't worry about the politics to that love. We will tell them the truth. Hallelujah. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 If we're not careful, we will find ourselves uh, 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 making a statement that we love members of, uh, 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 of our family who are not members of the body of Christ. But we want we want to play politics with them. We 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 want to we want to keep them loving us. Amen. Keep Amen. them on our side. So rather than telling them what they need to uh, to know in order to be saved, we we we, we avoid. Am I right about it? Amen. We, we don't want to rock any boots. We don't want to ruffle any fellows. So we let them die and go to hell and then we talk about how good they were. But they low. They, were, they are lost. Be good. But if we love, we'll tell them. Yes, sir. If we love, Jesus said, "Go ye into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature, every 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 human. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned." What are you saying, Jesus? You tell them. Let them make the decision. Yes, if they don't believe it, they will be damned. If they do, that damn, that just means they're going to hell. That's all that means. If they do, then they're going to heaven. Amen. They'll be saved. Amen. But you tell them. Amen. And if you can't tell them, you put them on the phone and bring them to somebody who can tell them. Amen. Am I right about it? We're talking about the link of God's love. Oh, his love is long-suffering. Amen. Daryl, his love is long suffering, God. Yes, Lord. Am I right about it? Yes. It, 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 it? It's long suffering. Let me show you how, how, how he manifests his love in a long suffering way. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 9, listen to, to Peter. Peter said, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Whatever he said is going to happen. Amen. We're going to leave here one day. Yes. That's a promise. Amen. Am I right about it? If we don't obey him, we're going to hell. That's a promise. Amen. Amen. He's watching now, watching now, uh, 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 concerning his promise, as some men count slap. Because he hadn't done it already. Don't mean it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. But what, what are you doing, Jesus? What, 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 let me explain to you. But is long-suffering. 
so glad God ain't some of y'all. Amen. Amen. Because I am looking at how to be so far under. Woo, Lord have mercy. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, God wants our love to have some length. His love has length. And if we are associated, if we are a, 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 a relative of his, if, 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 if we are related to him, he wants our love to have some length. Amen. Am I right or not? Amen. 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 Let, 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 me, let me give it to you again. First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 4. Charity and love suffers long. We ought to be able to put up with one another better. Watch this. We put up with them folk on our job. Don't we? Don't we? Amen. We put up with our friends out there in the world. Don't Amen. Amen. We, they say anything, do anything to us, and we still love them anyhow. Ooh, hallelujah. Am I right about it? Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. But when it comes to us as a as the real thing. What do you mean, Brother Parker, the real? Don't you know that, 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 that this is the real family? Well, it is. When your biological family, a member, don't do what's right and go to hell, you still gonna go with me if I go. We're gonna, we gonna be a family throughout eternity.
commended his love toward us in that while we were yet Christ died for us. It reaches down, down in the pit of sin to bring us up out of sin. That's how God loves the world. When you think about his death as a blood, I think about Paul. Paul had every reason to feel unworthy. In chapter 7, you know the story? They stoned Stephen for preaching the gospel. Stoned him, gnashed upon him with their teeth. And the Bible said, Saul put them up to it. And, and while they were doing it, they put their clothes, their coats, by Saul's feet. Saul had their own. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Chapter 8, the book said, Saul made havoc to the church, entering in from into every house and putting men and women in prison. For what? For calling on the name of Jesus. He was a murderer. But when he saw him on the road of the back, mm, Lord struck him to the ground. Light on the shot. Looked up with fire. Lord, what would you have me to do? It's a beautiful thing when, when you come in contact with the power of the word of God. Yes. And all you want to know is, Lord, what would you have me to do? Amen. Amen. Lord told him to go to Damascus to a street called Straight, and one by the name of Ananias will tell me what thou must do. That's right. <clears throat> That's absolutely right. And, and this, I'm going to drop this on you. Ain't going to cost you nothing. When, 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 when somebody tells you that Saul was saved on the road of Damascus, ask them to show you that. Show you that. Because the Lord didn't, didn't, didn't tell him nothing about what to do to be saved. He told him to go to Damascus. I'm going to send somebody to you. They will tell you what you need to do. Amen. You know why? Because after he died and went back to heaven, he left his word, the book says, in earthen vessels. Yes. So he sent one of his vessels yes. to him and told him what he needs to do to be saved. Y'all all right? Bible says in Galatians 1 and verse number 13, watch Paul now. Paul said, for ye have heard of my conversation, uh, of my manner of living in time past in the Jews' religion. Watch this now. How that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and I wasted it. No wonder Paul felt word, unworthy. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse number, uh, number uh, 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 15, uh, Paul said, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all expectation, acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world, watch this now, to save sinners of whom I am chief. Yes. Paul said, I'm the chief of sinners. Amen. What are you saying, Paul? Paul said, he reached way down and pulled me out of the fiery clay of sin. Amen. Amen. And saved me. Indeed. And if he did it for Paul, he'll do it for anybody else. Amen. Because he's not a respectable person. Nah. You just got to be willing to submit yes. your 
yourself to it. Surrender your will to his will. And if we surrender, even in the body of Christ, we say we surrender. We surrender while we are in this building. That's when we surrender. When we leave this building, we go back hanging out with folk. We talk about that in Bible we go out and we go back to hanging out with folk that we as Christians ought not be hanging out with. Amen. Why, Brother Parker, why is it that we ought not be hanging out with sin? Well, that's a good question. Sin or sin? Yes. And if they sin, you hang out with them, guess what they're going to do? Encourage you to sin. Amen. Amen. True. Amen. That's all right. Yes. Amen. And then you want to get mad at God on your life, baby. You struggling in your life. Yes, God ain't got, no, ain't got nothing to do with you struggling in your life. The reason why you struggling in your life is what you do. Amen. Amen. Am I right about it? It's who you hanging out with. Then who, who keep you in conflict with God? Amen. Y'all all right? Amen. 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 I know I preach like I'm mad, I like I'm mad sometimes, but I ain't never mad. Amen. Not when I'm preaching. Amen. I'm just, I'm just passionate. Amen. Amen. I'm passionate. Amen. Amen. You need to be careful who you hang out with. Amen. Birds of a feather flock together. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, there you go. You heard the sermon. You walk out. You get out there and you start hanging out with them, and they pull out a joint. Oh. <laughs> oh, first they come in. Come on, come on. There you go. Amen. There I go. Amen, brother. You tell the truth. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Come on over to the house and look at some uh, movies. Amen. Amen. He go on the refrigerator and, and get, get a case of meat. Amen. Let's look at the football game. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. For you know it, you done sit there and have drunk a whole piece of beer. Amen. <laughs> you don't want to tell about it. Amen. 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 Drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Come on, sir. <laughs> The righteous 
unto everlasting life. Yeah. His love is so deep, church family. Mm. Amen. Amen. He, 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 it's, it's wild. It is. It, it, it's, 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 it's long. It's deep. Amen. But with all of this, and I can continue to share all of this, but church family, his love is all that, that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But it means absolutely nothing if you don't end up tapping to it. You miserable? Yes. You 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 are you are you 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 you, you, you going through depression. You 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 you, you feel hopeless. <laughs> you, you you are insecure. Amen. You feel unloved. Amen. God can help. His love can help. But it does absolutely nothing for us if we refuse to accept it. I would encourage us to accept the love of God. And we can't accept the love of God unless we accept God and His word. Amen. We, we, we will never ever be, be able to appreciate it Amen. until we surrender to it. That's the key. Amen. Everything we need as a child of God, God has it. And He's more than willing to share all he has with us if we surrender. Amen. Amen. Will you learn to love God on this morning? Amen. Will, 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 you, will, you, will, you, will you learn to love God on this morning? Pseudo love, mm -hmm. that convenient love. I, I, you know, I love it when it's convenient for me to love. It. But I'm talking about that 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 love that you're willing to lay your life down for. Amen. Amen. Oh, it got quite deep. Amen.
Don't step on my shoe. That's disrespect. If you step on my blood, I'll kill you for it. These things are not of the world, but of the Father. And the world passes and comes. And the lust of love. But he that doeth the will of the Father abides forever. Don't you want to abide in the All John is saying is what we need to do is get our priorities right. Yes, Amen. Love God more than we love the things of this world. Yes. Thank you so much, your family, for listening to me. I would trust and pray that I've said something to give, 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 give a thought, even a thought. Oh, yeah. But if you're here, I want to encourage you not to walk out that door without giving your life to Jesus. Amen. Maybe, maybe you're here, and, and, and maybe you're not a member of the body of Christ. And, and, and you won't. You, you want to demonstrate your love for Jesus. Well, the only way you can do it, you can't talk your way into it. Amen. You got to act your way into it. You got to Amen. demonstrate by what you do, not what you say, that you love him. And Jesus said that you got to, you got to hear how I suffered, bled, and died for you. It's personal. He did it for me. It's personal. And I thank you for doing it for me. It's personal. Amen. That he got up from the grave on the third day. He did that for me. And I thank you for that. Amen. I've got to be willing to believe that with all of my heart. Amen. Amen. I've got to believe that. I've got to have faith in that fact. That he did, and he did it for me. Amen. Amen. And then I must be willing because he did it for me to love him so much that I'm willing to change my mind, yeah. to change my ways, yeah. to be more dedicated to him than I've ever been in all my life. Yeah. Jesus said, I take your name, but except you repent, yes, Lord. ye shall all likewise perish. You go on that. I hate to say it, but he said it, so I can say it. You go on that. You know, Amen. If you don't change, you're on your way to a, 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 an everlasting pit where the word never yes. dies and where the fire is never quenched. Mm -hmm. Unless you change. But because you love it, you're going to change. Amen. Yeah, you're going to change. Amen. You're going to rededicate. You've been dedicating your life to this world, but you're going to yes. rededicate yes. your life to Jesus. Yes. Yes. And then be willing to confess it. There's a lot of names on this planet, but there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. Confess it. Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And then be willing to go down with him in that watery grave of baptism. For what? For the remission of sins, for the taking away of sins. You got to admit to the fact that you are a sinner. Amen. Yes. All have sinned. You're a sinner. The wages of sin is death. But Jesus came to re uh, release us from that death. Mm -hmm. So you go down a sinner and you come up a saint, a new creature in Christ Jesus. And you work out your salvation yes, in the fear yes. and in the truth. Yes. One of these days he's going to call you. One of these days you got to answer him. Yes. You have no choice. When he calls, you can't say I'll be there in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. You got to answer that call right then and there. Amen. And Lord have mercy, if you're not ready to answer, it'll be too late. Amen. If you hear the child of God and you see it, don't walk out that door. Broken. 
No, you need to be fixed, but you're broke. Yeah. Amen. Don't walk out that door. Don't get in your car. Don't drive down the street. Amen. We say that all the time. But God is good. Amen. He let us walk out that door. Get in our car. And we go down the street. And some of us that do that, we're broken. It's like playing Russian roulette. Yeah, we don't know when the bullet yeah. is going to hit. Strike. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you say this to Jesus, whatever your situation is, if you just need prayer, we'll pray for you. That's together we stand and we say it. Right. To lead Staff, but uh, 
I'm just asking for strength. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't use those words. I, I saw you with the brother Pop was talking about that love. I had to show that to humble myself and not say what I wanted to say. Amen. And I also, uh, you know what I'm saying, I ask the Lord to give me the church to continue to pray for me. Also, keep me in your prayer. Keep my mother in your prayer. Amen. Also, uh, my cousin Talon, uh, he's in the hospital. He had a stroke. And I would like to pray for him and his wife and family. You know, keep him in his prayer that he gets stronger and make him well once again. And just, just keep me in your prayer as well. Amen. 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 It was not let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, the King of kings, Lord of Lords, thank you to God for your grace, thank you for your mercy. Dear God, I'm asking prayer for all those who ask for forgiveness of sin on the Lord's day. Dear God, I'm asking prayer that you cast their sins away and never to refile them again. Dear God, I'm not only asking prayer for those who ask for forgiveness of sin, but dear God, I'm asking prayer for all the Christians of this world. Dear God, I'm asking prayer that you will continue to strengthen us while we're on this Christian battlefield as we strive to make heaven our home. Dear God, I'm asking prayer to give us enough strength to be the, be the people that you will have for us to be and that will please say, well done, thou good and faithful servants, and that will be able to spend eternal life with you. Dear God, I'm asking prayer for all of our sick members and our loved ones, all those that may be here at this time or wherever they may be. Dear God, I'm asking prayer to if it be your will that you allow for them to get well and that they'll be able to hear a portion of your holy divine word. They got a lot of extra prayer. Thank you for giving our, our minister enough health and strength to be able to proclaim your word on this Lord's day. They got a lot of prayer that we all have learned something on this Lord's day and that we'll apply those things to our everyday lives and that we'll be better Christians and people in the future than we've been in the past and that we will share your word with others. Hey God, I'm also asking prayer if there was anyone here on this Lord's Day that needs to obey the gospel for a for whatever reason. Hey God, I'm asking prayer that you're allowed to spend some time before we turn too late. In Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
believer in Jesus Christ. In Acts 20, verse 7, it tells when we are to communion. And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together, the great bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued to speak until midnight. Also, the church, in Matthew 26, 26 through 28, it tells why we are to communion. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and blessed it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave it thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for men, for the remission of sin. Church, before the brothers come around, let's go to the Wild Father. Heavenly Father, we are so so strong once again, Father. Thank you for your many wonderful blessings. Above all, Father, we thank you for your only begotten Son, Amen. Jesus, that you gave for all our sins and our transgressions. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the bread, which represents his broken body. Father, we thank you for the cup, which represents the blood he shed on that old word cross. Amen. We take this with your hand feel hard for Jesus' question and holy name. Let the church say, Amen. 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 <coughs> Oh uh -huh. 